So around 2006-7, I had a lot of friends who wanted an excuse to have a beer during the week. So we started this thing called the Beer of the Week Club. One person would bring over a six pack of beer and we'd have the opportunity to learn about the beer, talk about the beer, taste it, figure out what we liked about it and didn't like about it. That was really when the industry was starting to grow and get exciting. We were visiting a lot of these really cool beer towns and seeing the culture and the community that was built around beer and around these spaces. And that was really what inspired us to bring that to Cincinnati. We're engineers and we wanted to learn more about the beer. So I started making beer in my basement. And then fast forward a few years, I met my partner, Brady who was home brewing independently. It was probably nine months later that we said, you know what, I think this industry has legs and I think we have the opportunity to build something special. We're building something bigger than beer, bigger than ourselves. When you come into our space, you should experience an elevated level of hospitality than I think you're used to in the typical bar brewery scene. It's a very inclusive space. I think one of the coolest things we hear about people when they come into our space is that, you know, there'll be a family sitting at this table and retirees at this table and all kinds of different neighborhoods. So it really is kind of a cool melting pot of people all meeting, whether they're meeting here for beers, for food, for non-alcoholic drinks. We really want to be kind of that third space. Well, the purpose of Matry is to connect people to nature and each other. And our vision is to build a sustainable, purpose-driven company that our kids are proud of. So how do we make sure that we're an important part of the community, that we're giving just as much to that community as they give to us? We have a goal by 2030 to put $5 million of impact back into local communities. We're only about 20% of the way there, but we are on track. So when you work at Madtree, every employee is required to volunteer 16 hours. Now that's paid volunteer by Madtree. And we, for the most part, get out and plant trees in low canopy neighborhoods. Since 2020, we've planted about 7,000 trees in greater Cincinnati, over 17,000 outside of greater Cincinnati. And it keeps growing every year. We got involved with ORHA through a board of advisor member. We find it extremely valuable as we continue to lean into more a hospitality and food and beverage space. And I think watching the Restaurant Association work very closely with the Ohio Craft Brewers Association has been really cool to see because those goals absolutely align. The most rewarding part of my job besides always having a beer accessible for happy hour, it goes back to the people because you get to see them grow, build families, and we're a small piece of that. Being named the best of anything does mean a lot to us. Craft breweries 10 or 15 years ago weren't really considered hospitality spaces or necessarily restaurants. So to hear that from an organization such as this does carry a lot of weight for us. It kind of says that, you know, we've been leaning into a hospitality first company for the last six to seven years and it's validation that I think we're, we're delivering on that.